Hey guys, Sean here from RC Car Shop. Today we're going to do an unboxing and a bit of a review on the HPI Savage X 4.6 big block motor. Let's see what we get in the box. First off, HPI has included a 2.4 GHz controller. It's the TF40 system from HPI Racing. It's got a good feel to it. They included in quite a few of their models. Never had a complaint about this controller. Next up, HPI has included a couple of accessories. Your receiver box cover, air filter oil, allen keys, turnbuckle wrench, aluminium cone, you've got an engine protector, a couple of odds and ends. Thanks HPR. Next up, we got your rotor start 2. This rotor start system just requires a 7.2 volt flat battery pack to get it going. You'll just pop this directly into your motor and electronically start your motor. No pull start. We've got the manual from HPR. In here you'll find everything you need to know about your vehicle, part numbers, etc. And HPR, as with most of their vehicles, they've included a DVD, which gives you a full rundown on starting, starting up, tuning, running in your motor, a couple of stickers, and an antenna tube. And let's not forget, of course, the HPI Savage X 4.6. As you can see, pre-painted body shell. This is your 2013 color scheme. Big change from, from the models before. Very nice. Let's have a look inside. We've got your rugged off-road tires. This is still from the old Savage. No complaints. Handles tarmac quite well. Off-road quite grippy. It's your chrome wheels. Always, an, always a head turner. First thing I notice when I open this up is the big 4.6cc motor from HPR. That's coupled to your two speed transmission, which will get you running at 72 kilometers an hour. Down the bottom, we've got your twin disc brakes, full time four wheel drive. As you can see, full metal drivetrain with two steel differentials. Top again, we've got your 160cc fuel tank. This will give you a good 10 to 12 minutes of run time, depending obviously on how you're going to be riding. Two stage half flow air filter and your plastic pipe. All the electronics are waterproof. The casing for here we saw in the parts packet. We've got a roll cage, we also have an engine roll cage in the, in the, in the pack. And let's point ourselves to the Twin plate, vertical chassis, this is indestructible, this is Savage's trademark, you also get this on your Savage Flux, makes this car pretty pretty tough. Onto the suspension, for 2013, the guys have taken off your twin, twin shocks and they've popped on these nylon big bore shocks, they do soak up the jumps pretty well. We have got slightly beefier A-arms. You guys can see here, heavy duty A arms from HPR. Never had a complaint about the old Savage 4.6 A arms, but hey, these things look pretty, pretty beefy, eh? Overall, build quality is excellent, as we expect from HPR. The Savage range has been around a while. The guys have just built onto an existing platform that works. Something that I did notice though is that the shocks could do with a slightly heavier weight oil. They are a little bit bouncy. Perhaps just a rebuild in terms of bubbles. The nylon spur gear tends to strip under, uh, under load, but this can be upgraded. There's an option part, a heavy duty metal spur gear, but please guys remember you're gonna have to upgrade the, to the metal bell housing as well. Something, something for convenience sake, I'll pop in the hump pack here. It is a lot easier, just charge it up, pop it in, fits perfectly. HPI has left the space in there for that. The car doesn't handle extremely well, it does have quite a lot of body roll, but remember this is a monster truck, it's built for bashing, and it does bash extremely well. Guys, if you want to get your hands on the most popular monster truck from HPR, Nitro version, pop into RC Car Shop and get one of these. Thanks, please like our page, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.